Hey, hi, hello, what's up, everyone? It's me, Shelly Shotkar, and welcome back to my channel, Fit Mar Eighty. Let's start this video. In this video, we will talk about the low insulation, how to find out the low insulation problem on board ship. And uh, recently, I solved one problem. Like uh, when I go for checking, that time I checked that forward must head light is giving a low insulation, and uh, so I thought I will do it in next day by planning everything. And uh, so what happened exactly on next day when I go to check that time I saw the not only from the forward must head light it is also coming from the two more things like uh, from cargo hold socket number eight cargo hold socket. So why it happens? It happens because of the cleaning, washing, and suppose sometimes raining also. Why? Because uh, the crew members are doing cleaning on board deck. So that time maybe by mistakenly the water may get inside and it will uh, go in a socket uh, socket so it may be contaminated with the salty water so it gives you the low insulation because of that thing and uh, suppose if by mistakenly the rain is heavily so that time also with the droplets of the rain uh, it can go inside and maybe because of that also low insulation can came so forward must head light is forward must head light he always giving uh, this kind of thing why because the forward forward side of the ship is always facing towards the waves so the waves are hitting very high towards uh, forward must head light and also the because of rain thing it is going inside if you are not uh, covering your top bottom of your forward must head light so it will goes inside so you have to covered it with the help of silicon sealing so it cannot go inside and uh, that time you have to check whether any chances of going water inside so you have to make uh, in everything which is possible to stop the water going inside and uh, suppose that you cannot do anything minor problem and because of that water is going so you have to check it and you have to solve that problem so it will not come again and again for me i have already changed and, uh, and now i'm planning to change with the new one so it will be more better full more better for me to sail in this contract without uh, having worries about these low insulation of forward must head light so that's the scenario and uh, actually exactly what happened during this uh, low insulation you have to climb up to the forward must and that is the very scary part if suppose you are scared of height and all things then you you have to be better careful and before going over there you should inform your chief engineer your captain you should fill work aloft and uh, lock out tag out permit so that's the way you have to do this works and uh, i already done that tomorrow uh, yesterday i already done that thing so i am unable to shoot because it is very risky zone i don't want to shoot i will explain you in detail so you will get idea about it so there are two main and sub lights are there so it's uh, coming from the sub light so how it happens because of the topmost cover is not properly closed so the water is going inside and uh, on top of the uh, main uh, light there are drain holes so that water goes downside and, uh, lamp so there there is a holder for lamp holding and uh, that holder is getting contaminated with the salty water so that low insulation is came it's okay so that part is clear now i have already solved i have changed that holder with the new one so it is not now clear and no insulation is coming from there now the i left with the two problems like uh, one is a uh, number one cargo hold socket is uh, having some issues i will show you and so for that before going to do this thing you must check the uh, lighting panel so you will find out from where it is exactly coming and how you can solve i will tell you see let's see so this is the insulation meter and from from here you can see the insulation is perfect and fine the minimum insulation value should be 1 mega ohm but as per our company requirement it should be like 5 mega ohm and now it's infinity so it's no problem that means the no problem from the supply lines which is going from this panel but why it's not coming because i switch off this breaker and this breaker is belongs to the portable cargo hold light number eight so why this happen just because of that salty water going inside if i on this 
now it will be you can see this much low insulation is there so that's how you find from where it is coming and you have to switch off it is gone so now i am going towards uh, solving the problem from this socket it is coming like it's covered with the this cover box but this you can see the greenish color so from here and you can see the water droplets coming see the water droplets so i clean this part otherwise you can see water droplets over here so so that's how you can identify how from where it is exactly coming and uh, this kind of problems you have to solve on board ship i already open uh, and uh, before going to touch any of this part you already isolated then also you have to cross check no power supply is coming by mistake you have switch off other also breaker so you have to check that so with uh, my multimeter i will check this i carry this small one this is analog so no problem with that that's how there is a no voltage okay so now i can proceed for solving this problem so now you can see the carbon is deposited on this tip here so you have to cut this and you have to make new connection so it will not give any alarm or something so that's how from here i remove this and here the another panel i need to cut and i will have to change i will change this from here okay I can just clear this thing this is all old school methods which i am working now i learn these things from workshop team and this is so i think i need to cut and i, I have to give new connection only see clear clear now uh, this will go there this will go there this will job will be done cut so by cleaning those tips and uh, changing the connection it's now normal <laughs>